This is absolutely unbelievable. This is a brand new truck on the Ford lot for sale. It's Sunday. They're closed for the day. And they left the key in the lock. I just want to show you. Brand new. I can't really see in this thing. Almost $36,000 truck. Uh, maybe I should just take it around the lot at least. See how it is. Do a little demonstration like Saab Kyle 04. My favorite. Probably my favorite on YouTube. She's an F-250 Super Duty. Uh, let me look at that sticker again. Once I, like I said before... $36,000 truck. Oh, it's a leftover 2012. It's too damn years old. Man, you could get this for a real damn bargain. But anyways, it's got the 6.2 liter V8. Let's give her a little whirl. Not going to go out on the road. There's probably camera surveillance. I don't know. But, hey, it's their own fault. As long as I don't go out on the road, I think I'll be okay. Regular bench seat. This is somewhat of a regular, basic, regular cab truck. More or less what you call, say, a real man's truck. Yeah, it's the XLT trim, which is really all you need. You don't need every... The most fully loaded one. This is fairly well optioned. You got your power locks, power windows. You got your cruise control and other steering wheel controls. I'll try to find out. But let's start her up, okay? This should sound pretty dramatic. Gotta love these new Ford chimes. Yeah, and you gotta love the sound of that V8. <laughs> Listen to that big baby rumble. Ooh, that's sexy. Power down, driver's side window, one touch. Push the mirror out. All right. Let me give her a rev, see how she sounds. Let's hear how sexy that sounds. Not bad. I don't know. I don't know about taking it a whirl around the parking lot. It's best when you take it out of the road. No, I'm not going to take it out on the road. But let me roll her up. Adjust the air conditioning. Do a little max AC here. I don't think the fans got to be that loud. Somebody left it on the country station. <laughs> I'm more or less a rock and roll sort of dude. Let's see if we can find that. Okay. Um, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's your little, that's pretty neat. There's your little PowerPoint thing. It's got a pretty neat cover there. It's all like these geared looking, tough looking tire like things. There's another one here too. Looks like one for the driver, one for the passenger. Oh, it does say it has InSync. Although there's no big screen, I don't know if you could voice anything or not. Let me see. Let me hit the telephone thing. just says no phone and it doesn't tell you how to hook it up or anything but all right turn on the lights now nah, I don't see anything changing on here I don't know 
Anyway, <sighs> you know what? Now I feel a little more confident. Let, let's take it just a, a quick spin through the lot, and then I'm just going to put it right back. I won't hit anything. So, sorry about that. I, gotta, I am going to put my seatbelt on just in case. And let's, how does this shifter feel? Not too, too bad. Feels normal, the way it should. Oh yeah, I always like to hear what these clickers sound like. They have like an electronic sound. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, well, let me turn down the fan. Roll down the window. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. What the heck? Just feels like a really great truck. That's all I can say. Yeah, those police cars are here for service. Well, that one looks like it crashed. So, pfft. oh, that feels sexy. All right. One more whirl and I'm putting it back before I freak. You know? <laughs> Wonder if there's any others that are like this. They just left the key there. Well, I'm just going to have to leave it the way I found it. That's the Hartford Police Cruiser, but we're in Bloomfield. The other one's Windsor, so... Pff, I'm not... Just, those are out of their jurisdiction right now. Yeah, neither police cruiser is for this town. We're in Bloomfield. <laughs> yeah, there's probably some limited things that I can do on this truck, because I don't know if you can see the readout. It says, transport mode, contact dealer. So it's probably limited on some things they could do. It's probably something the service department does to clear that, and then you're okay. Oh yeah, there's a manual mode, and you switch it with a switch. Let me see how that works. Uh, I really can't do it with the phone in the hand and my hand in the other, but let's just give it another rev and park it before I get big duh, damn trouble. Yeah. I did it away from All right, let's park it. I'm getting kind of paranoid now. I don't think there's really anything wrong with me. I, I'm not officially stealing the truck, actually. It's here. So they left the key. If anybody's dumb enough to actually take it out on the road without a plate, well, go ahead if you want. That would, that would be your fault, but the dealer's fault. You don't go driving without a plate on the on the vehicle, or you're in damn big trouble. She's easy to park. Would have done it in one shot if I wasn't doing my commentary holding the camera. All right. Let's give that fucker another rev. What do you say? Oh, yeah. I didn't, um, all right, another rev from this fucker. Yeah. 
All right, I'm going to put the camera down near the exhaust, do an exhaust clip. This should be pretty cool. I'll just fire up the AC right here. All right, let's see if we can get a perfect mounting here. This should work. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that brief tour of this wonderful F-250 XLT regular cab. Pretty much a real man's truck. Take care, everybody.